What is up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mud showing you how to finish off this Rakeland Noble Pistolier by doing his uniform right. Now we, I, I do get sidetracked a bit by doing everything on the model that isn't the actual Rakeland colors. So if you're just interested in doing the Rakeland cream, creamy white, off-white color scheme, then basically we, we are not painting up the red back up. The slashes are gonna stay the color that they were when we shaded them, where we are going to color the sleeves back up and we're going to use Rackarth Flesh, which was our base color. And then we're going to add Pallid Witch Flesh. And then if you want, you can pa use more Pallid Witch Flesh to get all the way up to a very nice, bright eggshell white. For the rest of the model, we paint back up the silver and we highlight it up even further with Rune Fang Steel. We put Agrax Earth Shade on the feather and then we highlight that baby back up with Evil Sun's Scarlet. And for the skin, we decide to make it nice and bright and pale and we use, oh not that one, not Bugman's Glow, we use Cadian Flesh Tone, and then we mix in Pallid Witch Flesh, as before. And I think that's it. For the gold, we first highlight back up the gold with Gehenna's Gold, and then we we uh, touch up the edges of the Gehenna's Gold with Rune Fang Steel, which we've already used before. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy this little video. It's actually not that little. Uh, for the skin though, we use Doomble Brown, Doomble Brown, and Siltek Green to make red lips and dark blue circles under the eyes, which you can kind of see right there. So I hope you guys like it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. We will be moving on next to the province of Stirland for Empire. Ooh, very exciting. Possibly do a Stirland. Uh, state Trooper, the one with the bare foot. I think that one um, is very cool. Or maybe we'll do a Stir River Patrol or in uh, Archers. Maybe I'll unbox the Archers and Huntsmen next. So stay tuned, more stuff coming up and um, more Empire videos include unboxing and painting up the Empire Wizards using the wizards that are popular right now in the game, as well as Demigriff Knights and painting up some great swords. Thanks for watching, laters! Hey gang, so we're back here with our Empire Pistolier and I started trying to experiment with how light I'm going to go with his the right side of his body so I, I found a good recipe so I'm going to uh, share it with you right now and so we get started again. It's basically just Rackarth flesh with increasing amounts of pallid witch flesh. So we're going to start first with Rackarth flesh because Rackarth flesh, will remember, was our base color and when we highlight you can just, if you want, you have the option of going straight to your your highlight color, in this case, Pallid Witch Flesh, but I am I decided to create a little bit of a transition by starting first with the base color that we used. So I'm gonna keep the Seraphim Sepia as much as I can in the recesses. Going to try and follow the lines. Of course, using my my wet palette to thin thin my paint to a manageable level. A lot of people say that in order to get to a, a good golden demon standard of paint, you want to just use multiple thin down layers. If I had the time, the inclination, if if I was 
going to go for a very you know high quality paint job then I would also use lots of thin down layers but I'm just going for a basic maybe above tabletop standard. kits are so so great they still hold up they look good and the miniatures just look really really good and you can use them for kit bashing and conversions if you saw my my great swords video that I just put up where I use state trooper bodies Kits are all just about interchangeable and that makes it really easy for a hobbyist to come up with original designs for as much of his troops as he wants. I think I mentioned this in the other video too, but if you just want to, if you don't want to do the red slashes in the sleeves or in the pants, if you're doing slashed pants, then all you really need is this off-white colors. And if you want, you can highlight it even more with just straight pallid witch flesh. Now what we're going to do is we are going to highlight the gold on the crest of the helmet. So we've got Gehenna's gold for that, but before we do that, we're going to put Agrax Earthshade onto the feather forgot to do this last time. You can also use, if you have it, Carabird Crimson. Makes a really nice shade for red. Our Gehenna's gold and paint up all of the gold bits. It's one of those colors that you're going to need to shake up the pot really well. Now 
So I'm going to look for all of the gold areas of my model and highlight them accordingly. So I'm looking for buttons and um, the little bottoms of pistols. Now, Agrax Earthshade by itself is a fine color. For gold, it's a little bit red and brass-like, but it's it's fine by itself. Gehenna's gold has this beautiful yellowish tinge to it that, as a gold color, makes it stand out really nicely. Oh, I got purple in my pistol there. So now that I've done everything else, I'm going to work on the helmet crest. And the breastplate. Take some Zandri dust and touch up the pistols handles. With the pistol handles, I was going for a kind of like um, ivory elephant tusk or rhino horn, something very exotic that only spoiled rich boys would have. Uh, but with the rest of his uniform being very close to this color, like I said in the last video, I might change it to a more traditional wood grain dark brown. We'll see. Okay, while the feather's still drying, we're gonna start highlighting up the face. For that, we're gonna go Cadian Flesh Tone. As always, thin down on your wet palette. I gotta say, Cadian Flesh Tone, one of my least favorite colors in the new range. It tries to be the old Talarn Flesh, but it's just, it's too thin to use as a base color, and it's too thick to paint on without, without thinning it. The great thing about Talarn Flesh <clears throat> the old Talarn Flesh is that it was one of those colors that if you just thinned it down just a little bit and applied it onto any skin surface area after one wash of a flesh wash it would look pretty pretty good and pretty realistic and pretty much like how you expect skin tone to look even if it's a little bit tanned I used it for all of my catechins and and it, it just came out really nice. This new Cadian flesh tone just doesn't doesn't do the same thing. There's the face. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take... I'm gonna water down some Chaos Black and paint it into his mouth. If you want, you can use Abaddon Black if you don't have the old Chaos Black. Just any kind of black will do. Just wanna make sure if you've got a guy that's screaming, he has a nice dark contrast his mouth. And then if you want to paint on his tongue later, then you can do that. 
All right. Pallid witch flesh all by itself. It's going to be his teeth. Most models have upper teeth, but not b lower teeth. Some are lucky enough to have both. I think I'm not, I'm gonna wait. I don't, <laughs> don't want to get my black all smudgy. Um, okay, you can also use palette witch flesh in and combine it with your Cadian flesh tone to create a very nice highlight. Unfortunately, you need a little bit over, or around like two thirds of Cadian flesh tone to pallid witch flesh in order to make it a good, a good highlight. But once you've got, once you've got it, let me show you. It does look pretty, pretty nice. You just want to use it as a highlight though, which means you don't want to be using it all over your model, but I'm going to use it for the bone structure of the hand here, and the knuckles. And I'm going to use it for the face. Nose, upper lip, cheeks. And there he is. He's looking mighty pale now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a little bit of character. With with the eyes, we're going to shade, give him some some dark bags under his eyes because he's been he's been up partying all night. So we're gonna shade, give him a little bit of of uh, saggy bagginess. In order to do that, we're gonna take some Sotek green. We're gonna water it down. Now, not all of the human models have this. So you're gonna have to figure out if if your model has this uh, sculpted onto their face. This particular model that I'm painting, if we zoom in, does not have very obvious eyeballs like some of the older Empire State Trooper models do. Is the defining feature of his eyes is that he's squinting and that he's got bags under his eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint those, get a little bit of blue puffiness to it with the hawk turquoise. Remember, you really gotta water these, water it down. Okay, so there we go. And you just want it, you want to touch it with the tip of your brush and let it flow or seep around the area of his lower eyelid. Okay, now you've got a very garishly looking, garish looking guy who likes to put on makeup and go party. And we're gonna leave it like that for now. Because um, we're actually going to fix up the skin tone, but first we're gonna paint his lower lip. A lot of Caucasian people, fairer skin people, have a tendency for their lips to, I guess you could say, uh, redden or get get dark and uh, dark red under like you know when they're cold when they're when they're hot uh, the blood rushes to the who knows medical mystery who knows why um, so we're going to kind of indicate that 
And the color we're going to use is, if I can find it, Dumbo Brown. Uh, Dumbo Brown, or if you've got it, the old um, Dark Flesh. It's darker, it's redder than Mornfang Brown, and it's perfect for what we need. So as before, you're gonna water it down and when you're ready, you wanna paint it to the bottom lip. And you see it spreads around. And now I've got a very garish, scary looking guy here that we're going to have to fix with Cadian Flesh Tune, and then possibly mixing in some Pallid Witch Flesh. So this goes with with uh, any human. You can use this on, on Cadian Shock Troopers, on any of your, your human, regular human models. This would not apply to Space Marines or other genetically enhanced Super Soldiers types. I just painted, again, the bags under his eyes, and the lip, his lower lip. It's got that, it's got, still got that, the color of the, the, the blue under his eyes and the red of his lips, but this time it's got a more of a fleshy, glaze shade covering the top of it and that's what makes our model looks pretty awesome and realistic. All right now that the feather on the top is dry we're going to liven it up. We're going to paint it with Evil Sun Scarlet. I got just a little bit. Evil Sun Scarlet, nice and bright, bright red. Focus please, Igor. Sorry, monster. So when painting feathers, I like to start from near where the, the middle is, this, the, the hard center spine of the feather, and just follow the line out. A lot of people will dry brush their feathers, especially on smaller models like, like goblins, forest goblins that have feathers like on the arachnorok, and I find that it's... Uh, you get a little bit of a better finish and something that you could be proud of a little bit more when you follow follow the line of the individual feather bits there. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna leave it there because I like I like the feather looking the way it is. Last couple of steps and then we're done. We're gonna take Rune Fang Steel next, and we are going to paint up some nice reflective surfaces. So, starting here with the barrel of the pistol. 
just gonna take one, I'm gonna choose one flat surface and just trail, trail it from the, the opening at the barrel to the base. So showing that the light is reflecting off of this one surface rather than the other ones. It's kind of showing where the sunlight is hitting the model, if that makes sense. I'm also going to take it and very lightly just feather it onto the tips of the wings of the gold eagle on this guy's helmet. Tips of the feathers. That shows, it's like an optical illusion and it shows the light reflecting off the very tips of a gold surface. I'm gonna paint the edges of each plate. And try to blend as much as possible. You don't want any stark highlights, at least I don't. I know some painters who, who will paint stark highlights to make the audience or make the viewer look at all of his highlights, but personally, I, I don't prefer to do it that way. I feel if you hide the colors more or hide the blend, then the colors itself show up better. All right, last section now. The breastplate. Runefang steel, like the old mithril silver, is so bright that you want to pick and choose where this highlight comes, what it looks like, and really plot out the path of it. <clears throat> you don't want it to disappear into the recesses. You want to just much as possible. Just kind of suggest the highlight. It looks like, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up. So the next step that I would do is I would paint the base, which I started doing, and then once the base is done, spray it with a coat of matte varnish. The matte varnish is going to seal the colors in, make sure it doesn't rub off when you pick them up and move them around the gaming table. Like, I'm rubbing off this color over and over, incidentally. And yeah, there, there you go. I hope you guys have uh, a good time painting your Rakeland color scheme. If you're just going for a state trooper, then the simple colors would be this cream color with the red slashes, shaded with seraphim sepia, and then highlight back up with the Rackard flesh all the way up to pallid witch flesh. Rackard flesh, flesh is such a beautiful base ivory color. You can really see on the pants that it's, it makes a nice base color when you shade it with this sepia tone and bring it back up. It really makes the model look nice. So uh, you have already seen what it looks like at the beginning of the video. I'm going to just put some non oil on the horse's mane to end with. And uh, I am going to cut it off so that I can start to finish this base to make it what you see at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff you do on the YouTube. And uh, thanks for sticking with me so long. Latest players.